That is April 27, 2012, around 4.20 in the afternoon on a Friday. It's been raining here just for a tiny little bit. It's initial rain. Take a sample here of the truck. Uh, the truck hadn't been anywhere. Windshield here. And looks like there's some pollen on there. So let's get a reading of this. It sounds a little hot. Six times back around. 10 times background, 13 times background, 17 times background, 21 times background, so this is hot, 26 times background, it takes, it's a 30 second moving average, so it's going to have to set up at least 30 seconds, 32 times background, 36 times background, 39 times background, it's slowing down a little bit. 40 times back yeah. Welcome to the Potter Blog site. It's April 27th, around 4.55 in the afternoon. Now we took a sample off the truck here, approximately 4.20. It's 40 times back around. So now we're going to do a longer sample here in our lead cave. Yeah, so we have is uh, two Geiger counters in here, each in their own little lead cave, and uh, still need to seal off the top parts of it. And then what we do, we seal it up in this lead lined box. So if we look here on the right, this is along with the sample from the truck. And this is the control sample. And we try to set up everything as identical as possible. You can see down here there's a little bit of a plastic bag underneath that that has a control sample in it. And which means it's just a plain paper towel and a plastic bag. And this one has uh, the white paper towel and a plastic bag. Uh, I'll close this up here in a second. It's heavy, so you're going to use both hands, but uh, not an inexpensive get up. <laughs> Cost a lot of money to do this. So, as I was saying, it <laughs> cost a lot of money to make this setup. A lot of money. But, uh, and we've got some more things planned. But I'm going to give you a shot of what it looks like after the lead block's been put into place. Look at that. Control on the left, actual sample on the right. I will seal it up and get a reading in uh, 24 hours. <laughs> 